Hey everyone, and welcome back to Plus Ultra Pitching. I hope you've enjoyed our warm-up series so far. We have gone over a lot of different routines, both indoors and outdoors, to help you get ready for the game, whether you're a pitcher or a field player. Today, this is gonna be more pitching, pitching specific again. <laughs> I'm gonna start going over pitching warm-up routines that I recommend for different levels of pitchers. So this video is gonna really focus on beginner pitchers, people who are maybe just starting in their journey or who throw strikes less than 60% of the time when they're in practice. These are um, a lot of drills that I have kind of merged together <laughs> from all of my beginner pitchers into a routine that has really helped them get ready and prepare for games. So I hope you enjoy and let's see what the workouts are gonna be. So step number one, the one, the first thing I have them do, because they always have to wait for the catcher to put on their gear, is I have them practice what I call snap up. And this is to make sure that they are actually snapping the ball. One thing I see a lot with beginner pitchers is that they'll snap the ball great when it's part of the drill, but then when you set them free to warm up on their own, it's like they for, sometimes forget how to snap and they resort back to pushing the ball forward. So the first thing I always have them do is remember what it feels like to snap the ball. To do this, I have them get into a power K position. So if we're standing with our feet about hips distance apart, I'm a righty, I'm gonna set my left leg straight out in front of me. My um, hips are gonna be facing towards my catcher at this point, because when I'm releasing, I want both my hips facing towards my catcher. My right knee, so whatever your drag foot knee is, is also gonna be facing straight towards your catcher. We're gonna take the softball, bring it right down next to this back hip where we want to release the ball during our pitch. And we're gonna practice snapping that ball up to ourselves. Feeling the ball roll off our fingertips. Now notice, I am not moving my elbow to do this, right? I'm not doing this with every pitch. I'm keeping my arm nice and long and loose. See this wiggle? That's how I know it's nice and loose. <laughs> Keep it nice and loose and just work on your fingers snapping that ball up and really work on getting a nice spin. Great thing to do while your catcher is getting her gear on. And then once her gear is on and you're ready to start throwing to a catcher, we're gonna stay in this nice, in the same power K stance. And we're gonna do one snap up, one self snap, and one snap to the catcher. This is again to really feel the snap in the motion because as we move back you want to make sure you still feel that ball coming off your fingertips. So now the net is my catcher. We're going to be in the same power K position. I'm going to snap it up like I was just doing to myself. Take the ball out. Now I'm going to put my glove right in front of my back hip. This is again where we want to snap it. I'm going to bring the ball back behind me, palm facing up, and then I'm going to allow my elbow to drop and snap it into my glove. Good time to also work on a nice low follow through with the self snaps. After the self snap, we'll then snap it to our catcher. With the same snap you had for the snap up and the self snap. So all in all, this is what this part of the warm up would look like. The net is my catcher. I'm gonna snap up. Snap to myself, snap to my catcher. All right, once we're good warming up the wrist snap, we're gonna move back a little bit and start warming up that circle. But I'm gonna stay here so I stay in frame with you guys. <laughs> but move back, move back so you don't rip your catcher's head off. <laughs> we're gonna stay in our power K position. So the same position we were just in for our wrist snaps. And we're gonna do our backward circle drill. I'm gonna list all of these drills in the comment section below. So if you want more details and breakdown into all of them, make sure you check out those links. For the backward circle drill, we're gonna start with our glove and our throwing hand right next to our hips and our power K legs. We're gonna bring our thrower ha throwing hand and make a backward circle. So remember how we did these in our warm ups, and on the way back, we brought our hand back first to come forward. We're doing that again, but with the softball. So the first movement is elbow's gonna go back to make a, a, 
upside down or a smiley face, not an upside down smiley face. We don't want to frown. <laughs> Ball faces up. And then this is our power K position. We're going to complete the rainbow and face our catcher. And then we're going to come through and pitch the ball. This is what the backward circle drill is going to look like. <clears throat> so one of my favorite drills for beginner pitchers because it really warms up your shoulder and teaches your body the mechanics that we want. After our backward circle drills, we're going to start working through some walkthroughs and or long toss. So for walkthroughs, we're going to, the name gives it away, walk through the pitch. <laughs> so I like to start with my right foot. I take three steps when I do these. You can take whatever feels comfortable for you as a pitcher. But I like to step right, left, right, pitch. Again, we're moving back at this point. So at this point, you should at least be starting from probably the full distance that you're going to be pitching at. So my walkthroughs will look like this. Right, left, I present the ball. My next right, if you have a backswing, you'll bring it into your backswing so that the next time you push off your right, you're pushing as if you're going to be pitching the ball. Let's get one more. Now, if you're doing walkthroughs, you could either walkthroughs, gosh, that is what we're doing. <laughs> if you're doing walkthroughs, you can stay at the same spot. If you choose to do long toss, after every time you pitch the ball to your catcher, you're gonna start a couple feet back. So if I started my walkthrough from here, one, two, three, pitch, I'd get the ball back. And instead of starting from the same position, I would take a few steps back. And now my walkthrough would start from a little bit further back until you get far enough away that you're either bouncing the ball to your catcher or you feel sufficiently warmed up. I don't have the space to do long toss right now, but it's one of my favorite exercises. So if you have the space to do it, I recommend doing those with paired with these walkthroughs. All right. So at this point, we've warmed up our wrist snap, we've warmed up our circle, we've started to warm up our leg with the walkthroughs. Make sure with the walkthroughs, you start feeling your hips and your, your spine rotating and closing. After the walkthroughs, you're gonna move on to full motion and get ready for the game. So now you'll get to your full pitching distance, you'll get ready to do your own pitching motion and you'll warm up doing your pitching motion as long as it takes you to feel ready to enter the game. This is a great warm up, especially for beginners, but really for anybody. And I do want to say that this is great for before the game. I designed this imagining you're only throwing fastballs, but if you do have other pitches, you can choose to do those either alongside your fastball or warm up your entire fastball and then come back in and go through similar sequences with your other pitches, be it a change up, curveball, screwball, whatever it is. I hope this was helpful. Put any questions you have in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We put out new videos every single week. And if you have already subscribed, a really big thank you to all of you because you guys help keep the channels and the videos coming and moving along. I will see you guys next week with yet another pitching warm up. <laughs> Until then, as always, plus ultra.